Hello, YouTubers! Welcome back to Nasak Channel. Today, I'm gonna talk about how to install Metasploit into Windows 10. Let's start in with uh, downloading Metasploit from Napier 7 website. Metasploit is a software maintained by Rapid7 providing information about security vulnerabilities and helps in penetration testing and idea signature development. Usually it will be installed on a Linux machine because of uh, tools, signatures will be developed the most on Linux version. But for testing purpose, I'm going to install on a Windows 10 this time. Let's download the Windows 64-bit version. It's about 151 megabytes. Usually took less than two minutes. You should be able to download it. Also, um, you're gonna get the email uh, uh, for your product key, which you're gonna use it to activate your Metasploit product when you install it. So we finished downloading. Now we are installing Metasploit. So there's some requirement on Windows to install Metasploit community version. You will have to disable Windows Firewall, disable antivirus software. We're gonna do it later on when we see that requirement. Because uh, Metasploit usually including some tools as a virus payload, which unfortunately most antivirus will find it and put them quarantined. As you can see from the screen, there's an icon testing file. It's not really virus. It's just having some signature matching uh, uh, this virus that's usually used for testing so basically we just uh, disable related uh, antivirus real-time protection cloud protection and then we're gonna continue to set it up we keep most of the settings as default so now we are installing Metasploit community version right now. You will see your anti your Windows antivirus and threat protection found lots of those threats from this installation. All those files has been quarantined. You may want to recover them. You can see I already turned off wireless protection. This is my downloaded file. We are installing them right now. It's gonna take um, five to ten minutes to finish whole installation, depending on your computer speed. Here are those quarantine, quarantined files. 
which your antivirus software found it. You can see those are all from a Metasploit folder. So most likely, we, if you still want to use a full function of Metasploit, so you need to allow those files. Usually what I do is I just exclude the whole folder, whole C drive Metasploit installation folder from antivirus. Once you add the exclusion, the antivirus will not scan that folder, they will completely ignore that folder, which is exactly what we want. So Windows Message Center is still showing us we need to reveal the files in the quarantine folder. Let's recover them to the original place. Let's open Action Center. The message is already gone, so we go back to our Windows settings. Check in uh, Windows Defender Security Center. So we can see our firewall is on. Let's make it easier just turn off our firewall. No matter it's public network, private network, or domain network, let's just turn it on. Antivirus has been turned off. We also add the exclusion. Yep, we have those thread found files, so they are in quarantine folder. So we just restore them one by one. Since we know those are valid files, okay. Most of them are hacker tools. Some of them are Trojan. Windows 64, Windows 32 files. No matter what, yeah, we just restore all of them to the original place on the C drive Metasploit folder. Okay, we are done have all restoration. It's still installing the Metasploit. Finished. And we're gonna access Metasploit Web UI. It will be the Web UI running on local port 3790. self-time certificate you have to
click advanced and then, then select proceed to the website. At the same time you can use the command line next state command to find out the, the port Metasploit port 3790 So this is the first time to use a Metasploit So it will ask you to enter a username, password and the confirm the password And click, click create account. The password has a complexity requirement. It will require minimum eight characters, and also must contain letters, numbers, and one special character. So now it's a public key, not a product key. We got from an email. Activate the license. Now you need to restart the Metasploit instant. You may also want to do some update check to make sure you got to the latest version. Now we are in a uh, Web UI of the Metasploit. From the dashboard, you can see there's a new start. You can create a new scan. I just put the local network address into the target address page box. And just launch a scan. So basically, scan initiate. Scan finished, the web UI has timed out, so we're gonna log in again, we're gonna check the scan result. So we found four hosts from my local network, 192.168.16.0-24, so we just click in to see what we have found. We have found lots of ports has been opening, 902, 912. Those kind of ports we found out credential now capture data. We found some fingerprint. And yeah, that's basically since we found it's basically ports have been what kind of ports have been opened on the service, on the session, on the vulnerabilities, on the credential, on the capture data. So this is another host. So you can see there's a lot of service has been opened. This is low service, some of the service port opened for iPhone sync. And the if we you want to exploit those open service port, you may need to upgrade your version from the community version to a professional version. And also you want to check the vulnerabilities, what kind of vulnerability you have found.